Hey, welcome back guys. This is Tyler again with Orion's Tactical. Uh, today's video, I wanted to go with a little bit of a different approach and uh, show off these two pups here. Uh, the one right here on my right, uh, this is a two year old female. Her name is Mika. And the boy on my left here, he is a getting ready to turn one. And uh, he's a uh, full blooded pit bull. His name is Jackson, and Mika, uh, she is a uh, half, so she has a uh, half pit bull and half boxer. So uh, her mommy was a full-blooded red nose pit, and her daddy was a full-blooded boxer. And you can see she's got really pretty, like, tiger stripe coat on her. Uh, this is my baby. She, she sleeps with her daddy at night. She's a most lovable dog that you could ever ask for and Jackson come here Jax come here Jax uh, Jackson he's still uh, a pup so he's still a little rowdy uh, but Mika she's she's the good one uh, she, she's got to keep him in line so I wanted to just talk to you guys about these two dogs uh, these dogs are more than just pets to me they're uh, part of the family and I uh, wouldn't, wouldn't trade them for nothing. They're they're going to be with me until uh, the the end. So I have no intention on getting rid of any, any either one of these dogs. Come here, Jackson. Come here, Jackson. Come on, buddy. Uh, Jackson, he's got a real pretty coat too. Um, he's more white, and he's got little brindle stripes on him. Uh, like I said, he's a one-year-old male. Uh, and Mika, she's a two-year-old female. So eventually, maybe another year, uh, I plan on breeding these dogs. So I believe they'll make very pretty pups. Um, they're not gonna be full-blooded because of course Mika, she's got half boxer. Hey, settle down. Settle down, guys. But yeah, they're not gonna be full-blooded pit bulls because she's half boxer. So the pups will be mostly pit bull and uh, there'll be three parts pit bull and one part boxer. So uh, with their coat, I think the pups will mostly turn out uh, kind of how Jackson is here. He's got white with those brindle spots. So I'm thinking he'll probably, uh, or the pups will probably turn out white with some brindle and a couple of them might be solid color like Mika here. But uh, they're, they're good dogs. They're still, uh, still a little young, so you can see they like to play a lot. Come here, guys. Come here. Mika, Mika, Mika. Come here, come here, puppies. Come here. Oh, they're good. He's a good boy. Yeah. Oh, you like to give lovings too. Mika, Mika, come here, give me loving. Thank you, honey. That's a good loving. Like I said, guys, these are my babies. They're my children. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a closer look. You can see Mika, she's a lot taller. Uh, right now, she's probably weighing close to 100 pounds. Last time I had her at the vet, she was 70 some, 70 some pounds. Uh, but that's been not quite a year ago. So she's grown a little more since. So she's getting close to 100. Uh, Jackson, on the other hand, he's a little shorter, shorter and somewhat stockier. And, uh, I've had to guess, I'd say he's maybe 60, 70 pounds now. He's a beautiful dog. You can see the markings on his head. He's kind of got uh, the streak that goes up his face there. Beautiful dogs. Uh, whenever I do breed these dogs, uh, I'll probably keep one, and the rest of them are going to go to good homes. I uh, don't want to... Uh, let these dogs go to anyone without talking to you first, meeting you, uh, maybe even seeing the home, uh, because I'm very passionate about these dogs. I uh, do not like animal cruelty. I don't like seeing uh, dogs out there that are getting abused and not treated right. 
they're they're part of the family, so you gotta you gotta love them. That's all they want. Uh, their life is just to please you and uh, make you proud. So that's that's all they need, and they'll be loyal and protective <clears throat> until the end. So uh, I want the pups to go to good home, and like I said, I might wait for Jackson until he gets meh. Maybe a year and a half, two years old. Mika, she'll be getting close to three by then. Uh, I got her when she was about seven weeks old. She was just a little pup. She would fit in my hand. And she's good with kids. Both of them are good with kids. I have a three-year-old son, and they are best friends, especially this one. She would, if, if anybody was to try to hurt my son, uh, she, would, she would definitely fly off the handle. And uh, Jackson... He's, uh, he wasn't trained as well. I got him a little late. Um, he was maybe seven, seven to eight months um, old when I got him. I'm gonna go ahead and give you some close-ups of the brindle on him. He's got really pretty spots. You wanna show me your head? really pretty markings on his head there Mika 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 sit down sit good girl and that's her her white stripe that went up her nose it did go up a little higher and it was thicker but it kind of uh, when she got older it kind of slimmed out a little bit and they're very well trained I do hand motions so if I do this she'll lay Mika Mika lay good girl if i do like this she'll come up mika meet up up good girl sit me sit you want to shake shake yeah give me your other one good girl lay down honey good girl thank you jackson He's not as well trained since I didn't get him as a pup, uh, but he still does pretty good. Uh, I'll, I'll try and see if he'll do some of them. Jackson, up. Jackson, up. Jackson, up. Good boy. Jackson. Jax. Jax, sit. Jax, look up here. Sit down. Good boy. You didn't have to lay down. That's okay, too. That's okay, too, buddy. They're very jealous. Uh, Mika, she's been in the family the longest. So she does get a little jealous uh, when I'm paying attention to Jackson or even my son. If I'm playing with my son, Mika's got to get right up in the middle. And uh, she sleeps with me every single night. Uh, she's like a big, big old baby. She really is. She just needs the, the love and the attention. And a lot of a lot of people give these uh, breeds of dogs a bad name for being unpredictable and violent or what have you. But these are two of the most loving dogs that you could ever ask for. Uh, for me, it's all in how you raise these dogs. If you raise them and uh, mistreat them, keep them tied up outside in the cold, and, uh, it's it's hard to tell what some of these dogs go through. And it's really sad. Uh, I actually rescued Mika. She was uh, about six, seven weeks old. And she was eat up with worms. She had bad fleas. She was real skinny. And I've got her and uh, took her in. And if I hadn't, yeah, she might not be alive right now. It was very sad. Uh, she was starting to lose her fur from... Uh, all the fleas and the, the hot spots and stuff that she had but we got her back to good health she's never had fleas or worms since the worst thing that's happened with her is she's got an ear infection here in this ear which is cleared up now but um, it comes back so uh, you just got to clean their ears really good and Jackson over here he started to get an ear infection and then it was in the same ear but uh, I took them to the vet and they put some of this cream in their ear to help for that ear infection and it cleared it up and maybe six days later it was 
completely gone. The, none of the odor or anything was left. And then she got it again. And what I done was I put a little bit of Neosporin um, inside her ear and it cleared it up overnight. So uh, if you ever have a dog that's got like a, a ear infection, put some Neosporin in there. Uh, maybe you can clean it with a little bit of uh, peroxide and then put the Neosporin on there. And I guarantee you within overnight or maybe two days tops, um, it'll be cleared up. Because Jax, when he got his, you can see on the back side of his ear there, he was he was kind of scratching at it and stuff. And um, he even scratched it so much that it bled there at one time. And I put the newest pouring in his ear and he was good two days later. And now they're both back to healthy, happy little dogs. They get uh, Christmas presents under the tree just like the kids do. They're part of the family. They always will be. And, uh, yeah, guys, I just wanted to show you my my pups, my battle buddies. Uh, Mika, like I said, she's the baby. But we love Jackson just as much, don't we, buddy? Beautiful, beautiful dogs. Um, again, Jack's here, the white with the brindle spots. He is getting ready to be a year old. Uh, Mika, she just turned two. Uh, May the 28th, so she just turned two. And uh, I'm going to try to breed them maybe in the next year. And I'll have some puppies. And um, if any of the viewers here uh, that are watching are interested in some pups, uh, contact me. I'm really not sure uh, a price or anything yet. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get all their shots and all that stuff up to date and make sure they're uh, weaned off of the milk and onto puppy food before I let them go. So, uh, yeah, guys, these are some beautiful dogs. And she does look like a tiger. You can tell on her back there, how it kind of in this area here, how it kind of streams down the sides. Such a beautiful coat. Very pretty brindle coat. She's got white feet. All of her feet are white. <clears throat> and then, of course, the spot right there on her nose. And I'll go ahead and post a couple of pictures up of her uh, baby pictures, what she looked like when we brought her home. But, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's such a sweetheart. She's so gentle. Um, if you throw a ball and it goes, like, towards her water or food bowl, um, she will make sure and not run into it and spill it. She just barely gets her paw in there, and she'll kind of paw it away. And uh, when she jumps up on you, like, a, she's a lap dog. She really is. She thinks she has to be right on top of you. And uh, me being a, a man... Um, dogs will sometimes step in between your legs, which really doesn't feel all that good. But Mika, she is such a gentle, gentle, sweethearted dog. She will make sure that she steps very gently and will not step on me. But she feels like she has to lay right on top of me. Jackson, on the other hand, he hasn't learned that yet. Uh, but he's getting there. There's another close-up of his brindle. He's got one little white speck right there. He's a beautiful, beautiful dog, too. Um, I actually got him. Oh, it's been a few months, a few months back. Um, I was contacted by uh, one of my friends, and she was having some medical problems with her other dog. So she really didn't have the time to take care of him and train him right. So I took him in, and... Um, he's he's been a good dog. He just needed a little work. Mika, Mika, come, come on, come on, get out of there. Me, no, no, you gotta go the other way. I've got some car seats and stuff cluttered up in here. Cheer, yeah, guys. Well, uh, that's my dogs. Figured you guys might like to see the pups or the uh, the battle buddies. Uh, her name is Mika Monroe, and his name is Jackson Hewitt. Uh, Mika is the two-year-old, and he's getting ready to be one, so they're about a year apart. And uh, 
yeah, I love these dogs. I figured you guys might appreciate um, looking at them. Like I said, a lot of people give these dogs a bad name, but I've had them around plenty of children. Jackson, where he's still a puppy, he still kind of play bites, but he doesn't do it to hurt you by any means. It's just a little play bite. And uh, he's, uh, he's getting there. Miko, on the other hand, um, instead of just giving her the voice commands, like what I do is I snap my finger to get her attention, and I can say sit, and I point my finger down, but I've got her to where I don't even have to speak. I can just give her the hand motions, like me, Mika, sit. You know what that one means. Good girl. Okay. Oh, uh, you're not going to do it for the camera. Yeah, she's being filmed. She don't want to do it. I guarantee if I had some treats in here, she would. Jax, you got anything to say to everyone on YouTube? Hmm? You look like you need some water, buddy. Are you thirsty? You want some water? What do you think, Mika? You being good? You being a good girl? Hmm? Thank you. I can tell her, give me lovings, and she'll come right up and lick me right on the mouth. Which, I don't care, guys. I let my dogs lick me. It doesn't bother me whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, um, like I said, I am going to breed these dogs eventually. They're going to make some beautiful pups. They're not going to be completely full-blooded pit bulls because she is half boxer but uh, see if he's full-blooded she's half so that'd be the, the pups would be uh three-fourths boxer and then just one-fourth or uh three-fourths pit bull and one-fourth boxer so uh the box or the pit bull and her and the pit bull from him I think the, the puppies are going to be more pit bull as far as the looks like him. You can see his snout there. And Mika, she's kind of got that more of a droopy face. Uh, she still looks a lot more like a, uh, a pit bull rather than a boxer. She's just a little more tall and uh, her eyes. But she looks, everybody that I've talked to thinks that she's a pit bull. And then I tell them, no, she's, she's half pit bull and half uh, boxer. But, She's a beautiful dog. I'm glad we could rescue her and uh, save her. Uh, I have a, a soft spot for dogs. When I see dogs uh, that are in trouble or aren't being treated right, I just I have to. I feel like I have to help them. Uh, dogs are such lovable, passionate animals, and I don't know why anyone would want to ever abuse one of these dogs. They're they're such good-hearted, loyal dogs. They would put their life uh, before yours, they would do anything to protect you, uh, their family. Uh, Jackson, for sure, he's uh, he's more of a dominant kind of male. So, uh, Mika, uh, honestly, if these two were to get into a fight, Mika would probably tear his ass up. Uh, but Jackson, he's just a little more rowdy. But Mika, she's she's a she's a mean one. If uh, somebody's in here that's not supposed to be, or she's even trained that if someone has a gun in their hand, uh, she will go off. She will go ballistic. So if she knows something's up, and someone's not supposed to be here, uh, both of these dogs together, you may as well just not come try anything at my house because uh, these dogs will take care of business. And if I have to, they're, they're kind of like my first line of defense. Like, uh, if I did have any problems with, like, a home invasion or anything, uh, these two dogs right here, they're my first line of defense. Until I can get my family in a safe spot. Jax, don't scratch at that door. Uh, but, yeah, until I can get my family in a safe spot, have them call 911 while I'm grabbing uh, my tools and uh, protecting my home and my family. So, dogs are always a good, good animal to have. They hear everything, the slightest little creak, they will pick up on it. But uh, yeah guys, I just wanted to show you the dogs, 
I believe my son's opening the door there. He's probably gonna let them go on back in the living room uh, with him. Uh, but yeah, guys, I wanted to share that with you. I know it's a little different since I normally do the uh, gear reviews and the gun reviews and stuff. I'm working on that rifle review for you, so don't worry about that. It's just gonna, it's been raining a lot, so it's gonna take a little more, uh, a little more time for me to get that together because I really want to bring a good video to you guys. Uh, so that is coming. I know I told you guys it was my next one, but it's coming, don't worry. And uh, if anybody's interested in a puppy, whenever I uh, breed the dogs and she has the puppies, I will uh, post another video showing all the puppies and, of course, the one that we're going to keep for the family. We'll probably keep another female. Um, I like females. They're a lot more protective. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's all I had for you guys today. So um, I hope you guys like the video. hope you like the dogs. Um, also, uh, feel free to leave me any comments, any questions. Um, that always helps the channel, the likes and the comments especially. And also, if you're new here, uh, go subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of good stuff coming. Uh, after I get that rifle review out of the way, I'm getting away from the reviews. Um, I know I've done a lot of them. And I'm going to start doing some more live fire demonstrations and uh, some things like that. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, I'll post a couple of pictures up, too. Um, baby pictures of Mika so you guys can see uh, what she looked like when I first got her. And uh, that's about it, guys. So, until next time, this is Tyler with Orion's Tactical. And you guys take it easy.